Morning everyone, welcome to Hunter Gatherer Cooking. It's just gone half past two in the morning. I must be mad. I'm on my way to Matt's to go hunting with him for the entire day. So once I got to Matt's, we hopped in the Land Rover and it was a whole load of driving through country lanes and we even hit some mist on the way. Then on the way, we met this little guy who was just sat in the middle of the road. It was a partridge. And for some strange reason, he flew off now and then came immediately back afterwards. We arrived on the site that we were heading to and it was pitch black so we had to wait for the light to come up just a little bit before we started to set out. And then I was in my usual routine, follow Matt, keep as quiet as possible and do what he says. Some stunning views though. Now the light seemed to come up quite quickly at this point and Matt saw a stag down in one of the bottom fields so we tried to get there as quietly and, and quickly as possible. Yeah, we've got a seeker uh, down here, the wind's blowing straight towards at the moment, that's what we need to try and do. To work our way left so at least we're not immediately outwind of him. So we're going to cut across here, he's, he's moving uh, right to left at the moment because there's a bit of cover over there where we saw another deer go through a minute ago. So he's getting our toes because uh, we're we'll probably intercepting. Now, staying quiet is not really my forte, but we actually go through a little bit of foot placement in one of the next videos. Never seen a seeker. So this is gonna be a really, really good day. Now these are wild animals so they're completely unpredictable. A lot of my time is just stood watching, waiting. Matt's got a lot of the gear so he can see a lot more than I can with that thermal. So we're heading down the other side of the valley now. Unfortunately what we thought was a deer turned out to be a dirty sheep. Silly sheep. But we've just walked up to where we started and now we're walking down on the other side. And Matt seems to think that he's seen either a seeker or another dirty sheep out in the open. So I think we're just trying to flank him at the moment. Did you say that seeker turned out to be a sheep? Frustratingly for us, there's cattle in the next field. Um, that's what we're going to do is going to hop over here, get against that hedgerow, right? work up that way, and then walk along there. Crossed. 
Now, at this point, Matt thinks he's seen the deer, and it turns out that he has, but it's not a seeker. So we got into position, and again, I waited patiently. Morning, all. Uh, this is one of the rounds that we made up the other day. And I was just explaining to Alex how it's uh, it's a good quality uh, bullet. Um, just to show the casing, not that you can see me bobbing about, there's no soot marks on it or anything, um, which is a good sign of that the, all the powder's burned up. That's called uh, obturation when you get a blackened casing. It can mean you have an inefficient burn or too high pressure or both. Um, there's none of that on this case. Uh, it hasn't cracked or anything. Uh, the primer right at the bottom is nice and flat. Uh, it hasn't popped or overly marked up at all. There's also no witness marks on the brass, and if you can see that, probably not, uh, which means it hasn't been over pressure. The shot was really sweet, it fell sweet. I witnessed the strike, so there wasn't any significant recoil on it. I could see the, it was plumb straight in the heart of the deer. He did a witness by basically flicking his legs forward and ran on. Alex managed to miss all the footage. Congratulations on that. <laughs> and um, yeah, we're gonna go get the dog now to go and find her, because like, go find him, because the, uh, he ran on a bit and it'll be a good bit of a work for Fern because she's been sat in the car. So yeah, it's gonna get off this bloody hill now and try and um, find this deer. Something that Matt didn't mention then, that that was actually the ammunition that we made uh, a week or so ago. If you didn't see that video, I'll um, put a little link up here somewhere. Slight change of plan. We're gonna end this video uh, here. We're walking back to the Land Rover and then the next video, we're gonna drive down and, um, and retrieve the deer and get Fern. Why are you doing that? Okay, and we're gonna get Fern to uh, try and find the deer. That's good training and skills for her. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. Uh, it's been a, a great morning so far. So thanks to Matt at Grove Game. Uh, if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button so that we can carry on doing this. And we will see you soon for the second part.